This is the Ansel ODB2 adapter. It's the BD200. This is pretty sweet. It just plugs in. There's no wires or cables. See how small this is? Fits in the palm of your hand. So this just plugs into your adapter underneath your dashboard. It's got a power light on here. Should show you that it's running. You do need to start your car or at least turn your accessory power on. So this gets power from your car. It does come with a manual. Like I said, it looks kind of big and intimidating. But this is just multiple languages. Really like the English is like this top part and these two pieces here. All it really tells you to do is download the app from the Apple Store or the Android Play Store. It's called the uh, Ansel app. So basically you're going to download that app. Then you're going to plug this in, get this running. You're going to get your phone out, connect to it through Bluetooth on your phone. And once you've connected to that, it should come up and say Ansel on there. I believe that's what it says. Yeah, Ansel BD200. So once you go into your settings and connect to Bluetooth through there, I obviously can't do it here, but then you're going to go to Ansel, the app. And the first thing it wants to do is connect. So now it's trying to look for it. So obviously you got to have this plugged in and turned on to find it. For a little tiny thing like this, it does a lot, actually. I have a bigger one of these, the professional one. It's probably four times the price of this, but it plugs in. It's got a big screen. You can't really use it to, it's hard to drive around with it because that cable's in the way. It's underneath the dashboard where your feet are. This you could almost plug in and leave it there if you wanted to. I probably wouldn't do that. I'd probably throw this in my glove box or central console, use it when I needed it. Like if you want to check your battery because it's getting to be winter time, you think it's getting old or it's not starting right, this will tell you how good the battery is, how the bolts are. It does more than just check the bolts. It, it'll check it over a period of time if you set it up in there in the app. So it'll show you like the highs and lows and how it's doing. It's got things that you can check your acceleration, how fast it's going, you know, from zero to 60, how long it takes you or how long it takes to break a certain distance. This, for, this little thing in the app, it does have a lot of things to it. It's got graphs, it's got reports. The other good thing is if your check engine light comes on, plug this in, do a diagnosis on it, it'll come up with the air codes if there is any, and it will tell you what it is, or it's got a Google search, it'll go out to the internet and, and bring in that, what that code is and tell you what it is. You know, if you think like your transmission or something's going out, it could just be a, a sensor or a module that's going out. So it could run you 100 bucks instead of 1000 so for the price of this, it's well worth it. I'm going to go plug this in and see how it looks on the app. Okay, the first thing you got to do is find your adapter and the port that's in your car. It's usually under the driver's side. This one's a little difficult. It's a little under here. This it plugs into it. So once you get plugged in, you got to start your car. You can either put it on auxiliary so you can actually start it, push the brake. So once you have your car started, you're going to start the Ansel app. Well, first you should make sure you're connected through Bluetooth to the device itself. So you go into your settings, go to Bluetooth. Right now it's connected to my car. There's one called Ansel BD200. Connect to that. You want to pair with it if it's your first time. Then open the app. It should find it, which it just did. So now I can open all these different programs in here. You can go into your settings. You can change your units from meters to kilometers to you know metric to English, depending on where you are. Language settings. You can check your battery. Cool thing about the battery. It not only gives you what it is now, but if you want to test it over a range, it'll do that too, and it'll give you the minimum. Tell you what the off and on is for when it's when your car is on and off. It's got diagnostic. The only thing with this app though, you do have to turn this and get it where you want it before you can click on it. You can't just click up there. 
So now it's going through and it's reading the computer on the car. This car obviously has two ECU units. So I want to know which one I want to connect to. This is your vehicle self-check. I can see there's no codes on here. It's a fairly new car. I hope not. Got your data stream. It's got a little everything. For the price of this, it does just about as much as my expensive professional one. That's five times the, the amount. Some of this stuff won't show until you start driving it or it, it takes a little while to, to populate. As you're going through this, you got to give it a second to, to read it. It's got performance tests. If you want to know how fast you can go from, I don't know, 0 to 60, you can set that up in here. And then you can drive that and it'll tell you. Same with braking, how fast you were braking or how long the distance was. You can also set this up for uh, travel. If you want to clock your trip, maybe you're going on vacation. So it'll tell you your miles per hour, how much gas mileage you're getting. It's got your EVAP system if you have one. It's not available on most car, so obviously we don't have it. It's got reports. So you got one print out reports, you can run those. It's got driving records. The flashlight on here literally just turns the flashlight on your on your phone. I mean if you need it, that's great. I mean it does come in handy, I guess, if you're trying to find where to plug this in at. Um got my vehicle which gives you the VIN number, which is always good to have. I said, this is pretty sweet. If it doesn't connect, your car might not be compatible with this. I would say this is good for like 10 manufacturers. So it's not a big range. I see a lot of people complaining that they can't find it or their thing won't connect to it. It could just be your car's not made for it. I mean, it should scan for the device, should find it, should connect. If it doesn't, like on my car, my other car, it doesn't work because my car is too old it, it won't work on it but if you want to leave this in here you can almost do that all you need to do that if you're going to be driving and testing it there are some reports that won't come up until you've been driving it for like 20 minutes i mean if you are not real car mechanic type and you're going somewhere because you got problems this will kind of tell you and give you the code before you even get there you can look it up on the internet in here right through the app it'll tell you what the problem is or what it thinks the problem is, what the code's reading. So when you go to the mechanic, you can kind of tell him what the problem is so they don't try to rip you off telling you something else. I like it. You should get it.